Every listing on the 2% includes the date that the show is closing. When the date turns red, you have one week or less to see the show. On the Chelsea Top 5, one of my favorite shows is closing this week. Last month, I talked a little bit about his technique. Because it is the final week, I thought I'd delve a little deeper. Analysis. Abel Ardomor L. Bryce Walkowitz Gallery. A camera obscura, a camera, and your eyeball all use the same natural phenomenon. When light passes through a tiny hole, it projects itself on the other side, upside down, and to scale. This is one of my favorite images in the show. By allowing only a pinhole of light to pass into the room, Abel Ardomorell turns a room into a camera by blocking all the windows except for a tiny pinhole. And recording the event with an extended exposure of a regular camera, the outside view is projected on the inside of the room. I was curious which room had this view of Times Square. First, I needed an undistorted image of the view. So I took this photograph, turned it upside down, flipped it, and then used Photoshop to correct for distortions. One of the only buildings in Times Square with this view is the Marriott Hotel. I looked at the hotel's website and found an image of one of the guest rooms. The identical lamps confirmed my suspicion. To find the exact room, I found landmarks in the image that were lined up vertically. By standing in the street and lining those points back up in reverse, I was able to pinpoint a vertical column of potential windows. Now, to find the height, I relied on a simple trigonometry principle. That if you know one angle and one distance in a right triangle, you can calculate its height or that if you can find another object at the same height, stand halfway between and look at both at the same angle, you can gauge the height from the street. For this, I traced a few perspective lines in the image. Wherever the line is horizontal, I know that those points are at the room's same height. I then found the hotel and that point on an aerial map, and calculated a spot both equidistant and accessible. Google Street View provided me with that equal angle view from that spot. Therefore, this is the window from which this photograph was taken. Pretty cool. Uh, check back here again for a new video.